Hello everyone. Yes, I'm back to unbox another vacuum cleaner and today I'm slightly more nervous than normal. Obviously, when I buy a brand new factory sealed vacuum cleaner you expect it to be okay and most of the time they are. But this is a second hand vacuum that I bought from eBay. Now the seller said it was in very good, lightly used condition and there was some pictures. In the pictures it looked okay but uh, the pictures weren't pin sharp, they didn't show much detail so I'm dubious whether this is going to be as good as they said. It was only 30 odd pounds for this model and I've always wanted one. I wanted I should have got one when they were available in the shops and they were about £170. This is lacking one of the cleaning heads, it wasn't pictured um, unless they put it in. But this is the packaging and it's probably the worst packaging I've ever seen. Fortunately the vacuum cleaner inside is pretty robust but here not even a proper box, it's just had some cardboard more or less wrapped around it and I think there may be some bubble wrap I'm hoping there's some bubble wrap as well but being what it is, a SIBO cylinder vacuum hopefully it should be okay I am expecting to have to spend some money on this eventually to, you know, um, if I need a new air belt cover or some other bits and pieces probably the small cleaning tools I'll have to replace but I expect that and for the money I paid even if I have to spend 40, 50 pound on spares it's still a good buy if it is in good condition but we can but see and I'm going to open it now so without any further ado I'll get my scissors out cut through all this and see what we've got inside well on the front of the box we've got uh, some SIBO bags by the looks of it I don't think they'll have just shoved that on if it didn't have any bags in so I'm assuming this will contain a few spare bags. It's obviously not a full box. But these are the old paper bags. This bag also fits this very popular SIBO X series upright. But SIBO have recently introduced some fleece style bags to replace these paper ones. The paper ones are okay, but from what I've heard, a lot most people do prefer the new fleece bags, they're supposed to be stronger and supposed to uh, maintain the suction right yes, looks like there's two bags in here yes and oh what else, there's something else what's this? ah, oh, I knew this would be in well that's What is it? It's something rattling about. It's probably another one at the top. So whoever whoever owned this machine in the past didn't bother using these. These are supposed to. Now here's the bag. When you filled a bag, you're supposed to take one of these caps and pop it on the opening there. So when you're taking it to the bin, none of the dirt or dust will fly out. But obviously it's something that this whoever owned this machine first didn't bother with but what I am pleased about and it wasn't actually shown in the listing is I've actually got the instruction book now why it wasn't kept where it normally is kept because this should be kept inside the lid of the tool compartment there's a little place for it if you've seen my other SIBO C1 and C3 videos they have the instruction book there so it's more or less the same instruction book as I've got with the other SIBOs but it's nice to have, it just completes it but also what we have here is instructions for the turbo brush which wasn't actually pictured on the listing so I'm not expecting that to be in there It'd be a nice surprise if it is I do have one of these, this particular shape but it's in a dark grey colour and this probably came with a white or a light grey turbo brush originally I know the later variants of this, the, the handle and the main tools were a darker grey but this is showing a light grey or white cleaning head so 
Right. Shall we say, shall we say a little prayer? Dear Lord, make me a bird so I can fly, fly, fly away. No, that's Forrest Gump. Anyway, if anyone's up there looking after us or looking after me, you know, any of my past relatives, um, the cosmos, the Lord, Allah, Buddha, whoever's up there, could you please, you know, just help me out today? I've had too many disappointments with vacuum cleaners. It would be nice, despite the terrible packaging, it would be nice if this is going to be as described. Now I do sell occasionally on eBay, and when I do sell on eBay I take up to 20 photographs of the item I'm selling and make sure that every detail can be shown, So, and I describe them as well as I can. Ah, well, yes, it's not bad. There is some more packaging. This is the external bit. They've used an awful lot of tape, I must say. <laughs> right. You might as well go, go off and make yourself a cup of tea, because I'm going to be ages with this one. Oh, dear me. Oh, this, I don't know where to cut, you see. There's probably... Ah, oh, oh, here might be an idea. Like I say, I've not been buying, well I haven't bought a second hand vacuum for a long time. I used to buy second hand vacuums, a lot of them, and I used to enjoy doing them up, cleaning them up, fixing them, but got too much of a hassle. But when I saw this, I thought, hmm, I might get that. Right, okay, okay, let's get this out. Hmm, now the tube isn't in bad condition. That bodes well. Just a quick, I mean it's a bit, it is a bit stiff, but a bit of um, a light lubrication on that. I'll give it a polish and that should be fine. And of course it is dirty inside, but there's nothing broken. That's okay. So, Hopefully the rest of the machine will be as good as that. Oh, I can nearly get the hose out. Apologies if it's a bit uh, if it's a bit dark. It just looks like it's going to rain. It's typical British weather. Now here's the hose. If I have to buy a new hose, I'm not too bothered. It's all going to be going in the bath a lot of these parts but before I put anything in the bath like the hose to give it a good soak I always put an old towel in the bottom of the bath first to protect it. Right that's the main nozzle. I mm -hmm. think I'll be getting a new one of those. Well that rust will probably come off but that is not in good condition is it? That, that isn't lightly used would you say, all that rust there? But, you know, that is a part that I can repair, or not, well, I can replace. I don't know if I can just buy the sole plate, I might be able to, but it's probably a whole part. But occasionally these do turn up on eBay, new ones. But, you know, we will see. If I do have to replace this, I'll see if you can get the dark grey one, and then it would match the turbo head. Right, here is the hose. You know, once it's cleaned, it's, it's in one piece by the looks of it. Now there's something, is there something wrong here? I'm not sure. No, it's probably, it's probably okay, I'm not sure. It's just I'm so used to seeing um, a power plug thing there. Because this is the first Sebo C model I've got that doesn't have a power hose. This is just a regular hose. So on the um, more deluxe models, you would have had in that space there above the opening. That is where the little plug would come out to connect with the machine. And there would also be, of course, controls on the handle. But that's just a standard handle. So, not very good. Hose is okay once it's been cleaned. Right, there obviously isn't a turbo brush, but there was none, no turbo brush pictured, 
so I'm not bothered about that because all that we've got left is the cleaner so I'll just have to stand up Oh, right, almost, almost there. I can see a bit of the, the colour of the machine. It's in a red colour. The other two C models I've got, the C1 is in a, a very unfetching battleship grey. And the C3 Power Plus is like an off-white colour. So this is going to add a bit of colour to that little collection of SIBO cylinders. I don't want to rip it off in case I scratch anything. So that's why I'm trying to cut into it gently. And of course, it builds the, it builds the suspense for you, doesn't it? I'm sure you're getting very eager, but you're saying, just rip it apart, let me see it. Well, it's, it's going to be here. Have patience. Here it is. You see, now I know why <laughs> the pictures were blurry. Mm. Right, yes, it needs a new air belt cover. They are easy to get, as I thought it would do, because I do actually have one, but it's a, one of those garish, they do de various designs and I don't think it would go with this machine. Anyway, I just want to get a plain grey. So they're available. So that I thought I'd have to replace. It is generally scuffed underneath. You can buy these wheels. All these wheels are available fairly cheaply. But there's nothing wrong with them. It's just a bit of... So I might be okay with that. The underside, once it's been cleaned and polished up, I've been given a recommendation of a polish to try a car wax polish um, by another enthusiast, Sam, who um, gets vacuums and cleans them up and makes them look as new as he can. And there is a polish called Auto Glim, very good car polish, that I believe might, once I've cleaned it and polished it with that, then I will know whether I need to buy any body parts. But so far, the underside's okay. Because a new bag door, this part, is about 30 odd pounds. And I'm not sure whether it comes with the wheels, so I'd have to get the wheels as well. Right, well, while we're, I'm not going to look at the front yet. Ugh. Well, <clears throat> there's not much muck in the bag, but whenever I've sold a vacuum that I've had, I would never dream of sending out to whoever bought it with a bag that's got any dirt in it. And I think there were smokers. So obviously... I'm going to bin that bag. I'm not going to, even though there's a lot, there's still a lot of use left in it. If I was to turn this machine on with this bag in, it will stink. Well, actually, I'll put the bag back for now because I will test it before I start cleaning it up. But it stinks. It's so long since I've had a dirty, filthy vacuum to clean up. I've forgotten how grotty they can be. This is obviously in, in quite good condition but it's still not not what I expect. The filter I've got another one of those so that that will be replaced because that will stink. That is the pre-motor filter and the other filter the post motor which is in here Everything is very stiff with the one with my cleaners. It comes out easily, but they're not caked in muck. Oh, it's actually got... It's one of those, is it? I've got another one of these, actually, as well. So that's good. This is the carbon filter. If I shake it, it's got carbon granules in. They will have long since stopped being active. The machine will stink when I switch it on. I, I just know it will. This filter will not stop, and it's obviously needing replacement. But, like I say, I've got one of those as well, so that's something I can save on. I don't have to buy another one of those. Let's put everything back. Obviously, when it's all cleaned up, I'll show you it again. 
and do a proper proper look but until I've cleaned it up there's no point in going into too much detail so everything's a bit it's a bit stiff and it's but that's not very good that seems to be hang on I got it in right But obviously some, no, that's not going to go in for some reason, some, I would not have described it how this, I can't get that back in, so I have to clean that. Here is the front, and on camera it probably looks very good, on, yes, but, what I was hoping I wouldn't have to buy, and I might not have to, these, these scuffs might actually polish out, this scuff here, it's, they're not deep scratches, and looking at the machine properly, there are no deep scratches on the cleaner. So, after a good clean and a good polish, I might get away with not having to replace anything. Here is something that's a bit different. All the other air belt machines I've got have got a remote control. This has got a little dial here. It's supposed to be operated, you can operate it with your foot. This is the foot operated on off switch and cord rewind. Looking at the cord rewind, the silver has come off slightly, so that it's not a deal breaker, but I can buy a new pedal. There's your bag full indicator. Ah, and what's good here, there is still, as long as that works, there's a power takeoff socket for a power head, and I do actually have an adapter that fits over that, so I might be able to power the big SIBO power head that I've got. Right, last thing to look at. All in all, yes, it smells and it's dirty. You know, if, it, if I'd been selling this, it wouldn't have had any muck in it. It would have smelt fresh. It would have had new filters put in. It would have been spotless. I would have... But then, you know, that's me. I don't think they deserve negative feedback. But I haven't turned it on yet, have I? Let's have a look in here. So you've got your tools. And these are what I'm expecting to have to replace. You know, but saying that, saying that, once they've cleaned up, you never know. All these tools are available. That's, you know, it looks a bit tatty, but it is a bit scuffed. That's a bit of dirt in there for you. But I think, yes, all three tools really do want replacing. But I expected that. It's nothing I didn't expect. So, all in all, I'm fairly pleased with this. I mean, if I'd bought one new, well, obviously it would have cost £180. This cost me 30 something. So, although to get it pristine, it's going to probably, you know, for three new tools, um, possibly a new main floor head, it will cost some money, but I don't have to get all these bits. All the bits are available. I can just buy a few bits when I want. But I will judge that after I've cleaned it all, polished it, then I'll look at it and think, right, do I want to replace this, that or the other? A new air belt is definitely on the cards. In fact, I think I might. No, I don't know if I've got a grey one. I might have one. I mean, it's not much. It's only a tiny little, tiny little scuff. Most people would be all right with that, but a little bit of a perfectionist. But it's nice to see it in red, a bit of colour. All I'm a bit concerned about is the fact that I couldn't get this back in. But let's try it again. I think I just noticed that I had the bottom of the bag like that. So that's probably why it was, I was struggling to locate it. Yes, that was the reason. Goes in. It's a little stiff, but once it's all cleaned up, polished, I think it'll be okay. Well, I haven't looked at the back. Again, a little bit of paint. I won't, I did make the mistake of using a magic eraser on a vacuum cleaner to get some paint off, thinking it was a gentle thing, but it takes a shine off as well. So I will probably use, well I will try getting that off with a, a mild detergent first, and then I'll use some sort of mild solvent. But at the back it looks okay. Again, it's scuffed, but it's no, it's no deep, deep scratches. So hopefully the, sham the polish will cover the scuff marks. Now, it is the motor 
And obviously as I'm pulling out the flex, I am looking at it. And obviously the flex will be dirty, it's black, you can't see the dirt, but that will need cleaning. And I'm just checking for any damage. It comes out quite smoothly, how I'd expect it to. Nice long flex. So the flex is okay. Let's check the plug, see if that looks alright. Plug's okay as well. Right then. If this works when I plug it in, then I think it's a thumbs up. Right, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't done a preview, I've not tried it before I started the camera. So this is the first time I've switched this machine on. So I think I will know if there's anything wrong with the motor. If the motor's shot, then it doesn't make this economical. But the seller said it was working, but I doubt the seller would know what the motor should sound like, but I do. I think it should be starting off on minimum because I'm assuming that having the dials all yellow is maximum and as you turn it down they're oddly, oddly marked, I don't know why they've done them in the yellow and black but anyway so I'm assuming that because they're almost, well black, black or dark grey it means it's on minimum so all I have to do is press this, fingers crossed Bitch. When I used to buy a lot of second-hand vacuums, I would never do this. I would never turn them on at the machine. I'd also I would make sure they were switched on at the switch. Then I would plug them in from a distance and then flick this wall switch. So I'm taking a big risk, am I? But it's a SIBO. Should be all right. Right here goes. <laughs> Apart from the smell, you know, the smell of an ashtray that I'm getting, and that takes me back a few years because when I was a wee child growing up, my my dad used to smoke, and two of my brothers did. So we used to have nicotine-stained ceilings in the house. My dad used to smoke in the car as well. Can you believe it? Um, and so, you know, I often used to go round with my mum's Hoover Freedom or Electrolux 502 with the tools and clean out the ashtrays. But of course, if you do that, then the machines start to stink of old ashtrays, which isn't very pleasant. When I finish with this machine, it will not smell of anything, apart from maybe one of the SIBO air freshener capsules. So, now is that how that should be? Let me just check this. Yeah, it is. Just looked a bit odd. Mm. Looked, looked broken, but it isn't. So I'm always expecting the worst, but that should fit in there. That fits on okay. Let's just switch it on again. Good suction. So the only disappointing thing really is the head but like I say I'll show you this when I've finished with it but looking I can see it through my viewfinder and it looks looks much better than it does in real life they say the camera never lies well it's telling a few porkies in this shot but I'm over overly critical to most people I think they would think that that is in pretty good condition and yes I do I am quite pleased so I'm pleased to have that, it's going to be a nice addition and I've wanted a non-power hose air belt C2. I do remember seeing these new in the shops. I never got round to getting one. It's a 1500 watt motor, so it obviously complies with the new legislation by 100 watts. Uh, but obviously in 2017 the legislation limits vacuum cleaners to 900 watts so then I'll have to hide this away because it'll be illegal because there will be detector vans out you know they're, they're going to there's going to be an amnesty for the first phase 
that's just come into effect on 1st of September, limiting vacuums to 1600 watts. But when it gets to 900 watts in 2017, then they will be sending detector vans around. So if they detect that you've got a high wattage vacuum, you better keep it well hidden or I don't know what you're going to do, but you get rid of it, hide it somewhere. But they'll find you, they'll hunt you down until you comply. 900 watts maximum. Don't you forget it. Anyway, that's everything. I am joking, of course. Some people did think that when the law came in, they would have to get rid of their current vacuum if it was above 1600 watts. But no, if you have a vacuum that's a high wattage vacuum and it still works and you're using it, you're, you're safe. You can continue to vacuum with it until it blows up. Because if it's a, um, like a 2300 watt motor, and if it's, especially if it's certain brands, certain brands made in China, it probably won't last very long anyway, and you will soon have to buy one of the new machines. SIBO, at the time of making this video, SIBO haven't revealed, they haven't showed their hand yet about what they're going to be bringing out, but I assume it'll be more or less what they have out now, but with lower wattage motors. Not sure if they've got anything brand new planned, but I think that will be revealed soon. So, for me and the Airbelt C2 Total, it's goodbye for now. Next time you see this, it'll be a few weeks, because I don't know if I've got the time to clean this up. I'll probably give it a, a start, start to clean it, but I want to give it a proper detailed clean and a polish when I get some of this polish. Then I will show you what it looks like after the full clean. Anyway, that's it for now. Stay tuned. Lots more coming up. Don't forget, I upload on Monday, Wednesday and Fridays now. Fridays, it's always will be, fingers crossed, as long as I have time, it'll always be some brand new content featuring myself and obviously a various vacuum cleaner or other floor care appliance or steam cleaner, you never know. On a Monday and Wednesday, it will be other vacuum related things from QVC reviews to little articles, little features about vacuum cleaners or old TV ads that I've managed to come across. So until then, see you later.